tell me your name and what district you represent. Got you. Phil Vandiver, P-H-I-L-V-A-N-D-I-V-E-R, Madison County Commissioner, District 4. Phil, what am I looking at behind me? These look like garbage trucks. Well, they are garbage trucks Monday through Friday, and then on the weekend, they may be a snow truck. Let's give that a different look. They are garbage truck. We use these every day for our large curbside uh, debris pickup. We we'll also put a frame on them so these two or three times a year that we have them, we can put snow plows on them, have them ready to go for whatever happens with this snow event, whether we get snow, whether we get ice, sleet, we have options here. We're putting snow brine, I mean, putting salt brine down on the highways now to try to keep the snow and ice from adhering to the pavement. If that doesn't work, we have snow plows that we can come back through and open up the roads and try to make them as safe as possible. Are these only for District 4? How many snow plows do we have in Madison County? I'd say we probably have seven or eight across the county. Uh, I bought one or two of these a year over the last three or four years just to have one or two around where we could use them. You can't spend a lot of money in Madison County, Alabama on snow removal because it's, it's just not needed but two or three times a year. First year I was in office, I had a gentleman call me and tell me so much, thank you so much for cleaning the roads because his son had a sledding accident and he needed to get to the hospital. I know we got people in DOD, I know we got people work at the hospital, I know we have people that have to be at work in Madison County. So we've taken the steps to do whatever we can to be able to open up the roads when it's, when you can do it. There's times that it will snow and ice and it, you just can't remove it at times. Tell me about the brine, how this is going to work. You've been over there churning brine since when and are you ready? Well, we've started since about 8.30 this morning getting the brine running. Uh, we're ready for it in District 4. We're In a couple more hours we'll have most of our main roads run. You can't run all of the roads because it's just too much time and effort to do that. It's just uh, we run our major roads where people can get in and out and do the best they can. What roads will you hit with your brine in Madison County? Uh, in ours, we'll hit uh, Jeff, Waltrana, Nick Davis, Capshaw, uh, Blasky Pike. Uh, I, I'm going to put out a post later today on the roads that we have hit so people will know if you can get to this road, it'll be safer to go down this road. How so. much brine are you making? That's a good question today because we're furnishing the brine for District 2, District 3, and District 1 out of our operation here. So we probably have made 15,000 gallons of brine today to go out on the roads. 15,000? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me one bit that we've made 15,000. So you're going to just keep making the brine? We're going to finish our routes today and we're going to have our tanks full so whatever happens in the morning we'll be ready to go again in the morning. What about emergencies? What about getting doctors and nurses into where they need to be? We hope we have the roads open where they can do it on their own. That's that's our, our hope. We hope we don't have to be uh, transporting people like that in the past. We haven't had to in the past, so we hope that'll work this time. Okay, what do you want to tell the people of your district and even for all Madison County right now as we go into this evening? This looks like a long-term event to me from the forecast that everybody's given us. Uh, whatever starts falling today will still be here come Thursday. Be ready for it tonight when it comes and stay home as much as you can and just uh, be prepared. And tomorrow morning are you going to start brining again or at what point do you put the salt trucks and then snow plows? How's that, that going to work? That's what we have to determine by wh what happens in the morning, what happens overnight. You know, if it doesn't snow much tonight, we'll continue with the salt brine. If it snows a lot, we'll be using plows. So. Um, I think we've we've overkilled a little bit getting ready, but I'd rather overkill than underkill and, and, and just be ready to go. Anything else you want to share? Just let's enjoy it. Let's stay safe and have fun. We don't get snow much around here, so let's have fun with it, but let's be safe with it. Perfect.